Thank you for taking a minute to stop by to learn more about lead paint testing for renovation projects and consumer products. So why be concerned about lead in paint and the environment? Well, lead paint can have a negative effect on children's brains and nervous systems, rehab contractors are vulnerable to airborne lead, and lead is commonly found in dust and easily inhaled. And more than 38 million houses have been impacted by lead paint. Lead paint and lead in the environment concerns are a public safety issue. The two major health risk groups are young children and contractors and workers performing renovation work. There are two main regulations pertaining to lead paint and they reside with the Environmental Protection Agency or the EPA, their code 40 CFR 745, fully effective April 2, 2010 and the program is more commonly called Renovation Repair and Painting Program. The Consumer Product Safety Commission oversees the Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act of 2008. Specifically, Section 101 deals with lead. So what are the facts? Well, lead paint was banned for residential use in 1978. Per the Housing Authority, the renovation of residential and school structures built before 1978 must be tested for lead paint and lead in the environment. Contractor, contractors testing for lead paint must be certified by EPA guidelines in California. Regarding lead paint in consumer products, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission oversees lead paint levels in domestic and imported products and includes toys and pottery. The Consumer Product Safety Improvement Act of 2008, specifically Section 101, deals with lead levels in paint. Now, when it comes to lead testing, yes, it is an extra step. However, the reassurance of a lead-safe environment and a lead-safe product is peace of mind and can prove to be a cost savings in the long run. Now, keep in mind, lead paint and lead in the environment testing is an easy non-invasive test. An XRF analyzer gun is used for testing. It is a handheld testing gun that is highly accurate using X-ray fluorescence technology to detect lead in paint and the environment. Test results are instantaneous. Test results are automatically submitted to state authorities for rehab projects and there is mandatory reporting when lead is detected. So who needs to know the EPA lead testing regulations? Well, contractors, builders, real estate agents, bankers, homeowners, and importers of international products. Knowing the regulations will allow you to perform your business and any home rehab project within the required guidelines and prevent additional costs that could occur if the regulations are not followed properly. To any of you importers of international products out there, it is important to know the Consumer Protection Safety Commission's Safety Improvement Act of 2008. As a consumer, it is important to know the EPA guidelines for rehab lead paint disturbance. By law, you must contract with a certified EPA licensed lead testing contractor when lead paint is involved or suspected. If your structure requires lead paint testing, hire a certified or licensed professional. Get the structure tested for lead paint, get a risk assessment, and after remediation, um, test again to make sure that you have an environmentally acceptable lead safe environment. At AQC Environmental Engineers, we take great pride in being an EPA licensed and, con and certified lead paint testing contractor. We hope that this video has given you additional information regarding lead paint in renovation projects and with domestically and internationally produced consumer products. Please feel free to give us a call. We look forward to answering any questions you may have regarding lead paint and air quality issues.